Well, well, good morning, people. This is Country Do again. Uh, I have a little problem right here today. My window for my truck went going down because the, the uh, motor went out. But I need to use my truck today, so I have to fix it. I gotta fix it until I get the parts from Amazon because it's cheaper to buy it on Amazon and go to the parts store. Uh, the parts store, they want like 95, something, 95 dollars, something cents. And at Amazon, is like $42.79 and I'm getting it in two days. And so you know what? I go my, I'm going to MacGyver this stuff for right now until the parts come. But right now, what, I, what I'm going to do right now is I cut two pieces two by four. So we got a lip right here. I can push the window up, put the uh, uh, two pieces of two by four in there, and that can hold it up for until I get my part. See? Just got to do a little little thing, and it's you could get it work. But the window can't go down. That's okay. I want it to stay up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it up. So I got to take. I got to take care of my old truck. This old truck don't leave me no way. I mean, the only thing happened, I wouldn't say leave me, I leave him. I leave the truck because the problem is, I went out one day and I got a little bit of gas. I said, oh, this could take me over here, blah, blah, blah. I run out of gas. So I failed the truck. The truck don't fail me. <laughs> so that's that's the problem. Otherwise, this truck is good, it's running good. It's an 04. I don't have a problem with it. And people always say, why don't you sell it? Why don't you get rid of this truck? It's of my purpose. Yeah, some part of it, the, pl the paint is coming off, but that's California for you. I mean, you could buy a new Vigo right now in the space of five years' time if you leave it out in the sun. The clear going to peel off because that's what happened in California. I always mess up your, car, your trucks like that. What I did, I, um, I sun off the hood and said I was going to paint it. I don't get to it yet. But it's all right. They take me where I want to go. You know, I, I, don't, I don't say I won't buy another new vehicle, trust me. I had what, three new vehicles in my life. The first one was an Ostrovan when the kids were small. I bought a, a new Ostrovan, I think it was like $20, $23,000 at the time, something like that. I got that, and it served the purpose to kid get, I get rid of it after a while. I, after that, I get another new vehicle, that time I have the business. So I get a oh I think it was a 06 now. It's a 05 uh, Suburban. Brand new. Love it. I love new Vigo. I wanna I like oh it's new it's, Oh let's go back to the um to the um, um, um to the Astro van. The first year the, the master cylinder went out. They couldn't find the problem. Blah 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 blah. And you know, I gotta fix a lot of stuff on that new vehicle than what I fix on this old vehicle right now. Honestly, this truck right now got like a hundred and, no, not a hundred. It got 205,000 miles and it's work good. I just keep servicing up and you don't give me no problem. So the new one give you the same problem as the older vehicle. Sometimes the older vehicle work better than the new one. So that's what I'm saying, folks. Like I said, I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy me another new vehicle, but if I got to make payments on it, hell no, I ain't doing that. Nope. Because the minute you buy a new vehicle and drive it off the lot, it depreciates, what, a five, six thousand dollars right away. Well, I want to do with that. No worth it. The most I'm going to pay for a car right now is five thousand dollars, no more than that. I got a friend of mine got uh, 2013. She paying, four, I think like four change a month. The car costs her thirteen thousand dollars. You could pick that car up at the auction for thirty five hundred dollars. I mean, I'm not. I, I used to go to the auction with a dealer friend of mine that I get. I get all uh, the permits and stuff to be a buyer for a dealer. I get that, but I got a friend that I but. Then for some reason, I don't know what happened. Something went down with him and he can't do it no more for a while. So uh, I can't do it. 
you know, so I was in it for like a year after when I closed my business. I was making it. Yeah, it was all right. I make a five hundred dollars here, maybe three hundred dollars up for a car. It was okay, but then something happened. I don't know. He don't tell me, so I couldn't do it no more. But I know other friends and stuff out there that go to the auction, to the dealer's auction, and I could get. I can look at this truck right here. This is an old Ford Tahoe. If I really want an old Ford, I don't want an next next time. If I buy, I buy something a little bit newer. I could get this for like mm, $2,200 out there. And if you go to the dealer and put this on the lot, they want $5,000 for it. They paint it up a little bit, make it look a little better, and they want $5,000, five or $6,000 for it. See, so I, t I, could get, I could get me an old, if I really want to, maybe an old, old 07, 08, for like $4,500. You know, I said, why should I go buy me a new vehicle? It don't worth it. And that same old 08, old, 07, 08 Tahoe, go to the dealer, and I make $12,000, $15,000. I never do that. So I got I got friends and friend of mine that in the business, but I, when I used to go car, go buy a car at the auction, that tell me if I want to come and hook up with them, you know, I could do that. But right now, money is funny. I can't do a lot right now, so I'll have to wait for a while, but maybe in the future I'll get back into that. But who knows? So, you know, right now, it is what it is. Just got to keep on moving forward. That's what life is all about. And I thank the good Lord that I could wake up this morning and be out here doing this. Because this might look simple, but to a lot of people it's not. A lot of people can't get out of bed right now, you know. A lot of people be glad to be able to just move, you know. That's it. We take a lot of things for granted. We take, we take getting out of bed, brush your teeth, come over here, put on our clothes for granted. Like, oh, no, that's nothing. It's nothing to somebody that can't do it. Somebody would pay any kind of money that is right now to able to walk or speak or something like that. So, folks, so don't take it for granted. Thank God for the day that you're here right now. And as time goes by, just keep your health together. I'm 60. I'm 60 years old. I'll be. 61 in October, but honestly, I feel like I'm 35. I could do this, I feel, I do the same thing I used to do when I was young. Maybe a little bit slower, but hey, I do it. You know, I could run, hunt, jump. I, I run with my kids and my son. I run with them. The only one, my young, my older one, he can't keep up with me running. My younger one, yeah, he, he do a lot of exercise and stuff like that, so. You keep up with me, but that's the way it is. You know, you just gotta take take care of yourself, and when, when you come to, you know, take care of. First of all, you gotta take care of. You gotta cut out sugar. That's the number one killer. You gotta get rid of sugar. And the reason why I start because when I went to the doctor, like which two years ago, doctor told me I was uh, borderline diabetic. He said, Mr. Greenwich, if you don't change your eating habit, get rid of sugar and all that kind of stuff, you're going to catch up on you. I said, what? No, nope. I'm going to change that. So I go and change that. Me and Bob started going to the gym. You know, we go like three times for the week sometime, maybe four, and like, how oh, Bob's sick right now, I don't even go. I just stay home and do a little exercise, maybe a little push-up or something, take a little walk around the block and stuff. But you you gotta keep always keep moving. You gotta always keep moving. Here. So that's what we do. You know, I lost about 25 pounds since I started to exercise and stuff. I feel much better. I eat, I cut out the sugar. It was hard, but I get used to it. No, I don't. That don't bother me. I don't drink soda no more. I don't put no sugar in my coffee. I still put a little cream. Sometimes I go black just to test it out. Maybe pretty soon I don't, I'm not even going to use the cream no more, but who knows? So folks, it's, in life you just got to take it easy and just you know, and never give up. See, like right now, like with my uh, business, I lost my business like, mm, I'll keep going on two years. I do try to do little things to, to, stay, to stay float, but I'm still looking around for that right, for that right niche, you know. Like I say, if I got, I might have to go do a little 
part-time job in the meantime just to get by, but I don't want to stay there. I want to do my own business again. See, so that's what I want to do. Because honestly, working for somebody, yes, you might pay the bills, but you mean you never be financial independence. They tell you what you could make, and that's what your life gonna be all about. If once you keep, I mean, once you keep working for somebody, that's your life. You could be making a thousand dollars a month. I mean, a thousand dollars a week. That's a thousand dollars a week. That's you gotta, you know. Okay, well, I got for the week. I gonna have five thousand dollars after taxes, maybe three thousand dollars. I gonna live. That's what I got. Oh, well, you make. That's pretty good. You can make a life out of that. You can pay your bills and pay your bills, take a little vacation, maybe save a little bit, but that's it, you can't, you're still not going to be financially independent. And you can't be financially independent by making 12, 15, 16 dollars an hour. That's not going to fly. So I already used to working for myself that I know I got to do a business. And I, I keep on looking, I see some stuff that I want to try. I try and I'm, I'm trying to understand, see what happened. Until one, until, until one click, it gonna happen. You know, that's me. I mean, not everybody want to do their own business. Some people say it's too much stress. But for me, it's better for me because you got more time on your hand. You could go where you wanted to go, do things where you want. When you're working for the man, you gotta be there from five, to, from what time you go? Maybe eight. Eight to five, whatever you call it. I know because I used to work for the man for 23 years. And they tell you what, and when you want you work overtime and you don't want to do it, they get mad with you. Sometimes I go to work from seven. I don't come home until about 10 o'clock in the night because we got to meet a deadline, blah, blah, blah. And by the time, yeah, it's overtime. But by the time you get the money, Uncle Sam take a lot from you. Going taxes. So sometimes you don't pay to work overtime, but if you're working for a company, sometimes you gotta do it. Because you gotta make a deadline. You know, so but I work for myself for what? Fifteen years and I don't wanna go work for nobody again for another for another what? For another five, six years before I could retire. Because my age right now, I'm too young to retire and too old to hire. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you um older in life like me it's hard for you to get a job a good job like in the industry i used to be in that industry is fading out right now because instead of they went to printing they went to sleeve on balls so is there, there's no more printing job in there right now they might come back later on but i'm gonna be too old for that right now so i don't make that bad i mean I just gotta look to the future and keep on going you know so that's what I'm talking about. It's don't give up. Never give up, folks. Never give up. I know you guys don't want to hear all this about me and I mean but oh, I guess you guys want to hear that. I don't know. I'm just telling you about life and how it's going on, but you know, it's gonna change. Nothing say the same. Everything changes. So don't worry about it. Just if hard time catching everybody in life. Just happen. It's not only me helping to help to a lot of people, bigger company than me. Some people, some people can't take it, they blow their brains out because they lose their business and they give up on life. How can I start over again and all that stuff? But you know what, people? It's good to know, it's good to be poor before you get financially independent. Because you know what's, if anything happens, you know what to, uh, to face. You know what, hey, I know what it is to be poor. I can get back up again. But it's rich people, rich folks that never be poor, and they get poor. Those are the ones. Yeah, so don't. I don't worry about it. I just keep on trying. So that's more or less what I'm. I'm here sitting talking. That don't you fixing my window? But that's what I'm doing. Fixing my window in my truck. Yep. So we'll see. We'll see as time go by. Now, folks, I want to thank you guys for being here and hear my listen to me and spend a little time and take because I know it's you gotta take time out your guys busy schedule to listen to my crap but thank you and I talk to you guys
tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you guys about me and Bob the little sketch about when we when we get married and she cook her first meal. Maybe I should tell her a little bit about it. Well, she, I wasn't trying to hurt her or nothing like that, but she cooked some rice and I get everything ready and cooked some chicken. That chicken looked white like like white folks. The chicken looked like white folks. I have no taste, but uh, a little bit. So I try to eat it. I ain't say nothing. So uh, she cooked some rice. I take a bite of the rice. One of my filling in my teeth. And I crunch on the rice. You take my filling out. It's too hard. So I get up and take the rice and dump it in the trash. And she went, ah. <laughs> up to now, she still remind me about I was trying to cook for you. You know this and that. I said, no. I said, I never mean to hurt you, but it's not good. So I got to throw it away. So I'm gonna leave it a little part right there, and tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna get into just me and her. From I gotta pick it up from where I think when we was when let's see when I probably left off when not this part just I think I pick it up from where mm, when I get my second kiss yeah when I get my second kiss we went into a we went to a park nearby. And boy, and she started kissing me. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. I followed, I mean, she got at me and kissed me. You know, we was kneel, we were kneeling down, you know, we didn't like, I'll show you a picture too, I'll show you a picture. We were kneeling down and, and then she was jumping on my back. And she come back and she started kissing me and pretty soon, bum, I hit on the ground. I almost get knocked out, you know, I gotta get up and shake my hands. And she, she just throw me on that ground so hard. Mm. But I'll tell you what, I'll leave you guys right there. You guys can get some more later. See you. Yeah, daddy, you know, he kimono.